Constellation purchased six Monarch Mark Vs in December of 2022. We were the first to receive keys. We hit the ground running. Constellation Brands is the, the first customer for the Monarch tractor. And we wanted to take that first step and be the, the industry leaders in that area. We put them to use immediately in the spring, predominantly doing under vine cultivation. Um, that's an important task that supports our organic farming initiatives. And right away, we were thrilled to see an economic benefit in terms of fuel savings. We used 9,000 kilowatts of energy which uh, equates to roughly a $16,000 uh, benefit in fuel expense. We're here today at the Tokalon Vineyard, uh, which lies just south of Robert Mondavi Winery in Oakville, California. And the vineyard is about 450 acres, certified organic, all wine grapes. Pretty much year after year, it recognizes the best vineyard in the Western Hemisphere. What we call this vineyard, it's been touched by the hand of God. What you have to do is pay attention to details and precision farming in order to you know, keep it looking the way it is and achieve the results we want to achieve. The Constellation Brands is, is deeply committed to uh, ESG goal. Bringing in the Mark V uh, Monarch tractors is a big part of that. I feel very privileged to work here with Constellation Brands where these types of initiatives are supported. Uh, having used Monarchs this year throughout the growing season and then the crop we've delivered with them is, is a fantastic quality. Since going organic here at Tokalon, I think people forget that you, that means you have to do multiple passes and that requires fuel. But with a Monarch, you're not using fuel. You're eliminating that. The things we were concerned about was, would we be able to use it for eight to 10 hours a day? Now that we've used the Monarchs for almost a year, we've run the Monarchs for eight to 10 hours, no problem. Over this past year, we've used the Monarch tractor for 1,700 hours. If we were using traditional farming practices, you'd be spraying two, three times a year. Now that we're using undervine cultivation, you probably end up doing five, six passes. So you've got a tractor that's just busy cultivating under the vine pretty much the entire season. The, the practice you're doing really goes perfectly with organic farming. Farmers can be in the forefront of climate change. And Monarch's mission with trying to save the climate and help the farmers reduce CO2 emissions, I think it works really well. Hay que arriesgarse a la nueva tecnología. Tomos, uh, son los tractores que vienen, es el tractor del futuro. Estamos en, enseñándonos a trabajar con ellos. Tenemos algunos unos problemas chicos, pero los hemos solucionado. Pero es, 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 es el futuro, es algo que viene en camino. Es una buena tecnología. Y, y, uh, vamos, vamos para adelante. Through Wingspan, we were able to real-time track the carbon emissions that were offset compared to a traditional tractor, which was exciting to see that accumulate in real time. Utilizing the Monarch tractors this year, we were able to save nearly 8,000 kilograms of carbon emissions. And the Monarch tractor is you know, just kind of the next step in that evolution. Moving into harvest, um, these tractors were a great benefit for us in improving the worker environment, being less noisy and cleaner air. We do a lot of hand picking on the ranch. It was a really nice working environment for the workers. So having a tractor that's quiet, uh, operating in the field during hand har harvesting has uh, improved our communication with the crews. Definitely helped with the safety side of, of night harvesting because it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Esa hoja. Una, una de las razones por las, que, por las que está bien para usar el tractor uh, o lo que nos gusta usar el tractor en, durante la cosecha es que uh, tiene bastantes luces, uh, tiene, tiene la, la visibilidad es, es muy buena porque tiene, tiene muchas luces alrededor, entonces es algo un poquito de, es un poco de uh, seguridad. Uh, with Wingspan I've been able to keep track of the fleet and know what they've been doing, uh, where they are at presently, and I can track their performance. With Wingspan, having the ability to log in and see where we're at with the harvest so far, and see its location too, just to see where it's at in the field. And now you've got a tractor that can drive autonomously. You see it go up and down and it's still surreal. It, and it does it precisely. And if something gets in front of it, it stops. So just last, I would say three to five years, just the challenges you're, you're faced with in farming, it's not business as usual anymore. Labor is very tight. It's hard to find people to, to work out in the fields now. Young folks rather go into construction or do something different. Seeing the, the tractors run autonomously here at the Tokalon Vineyard has been really exciting and we're really looking forward to the future here. 
one of the really cool things about this tractor is this tractor communicates directly with the tech at Monarch. Things inevitably come up in farming. The operator can, on the digital display, just submit a ticket to the Monarch team. In a lot of ways, the Monarch team knew about things before I knew about them and come back in the morning and it's had an update and things have been uh, changed and fixed and problems resolved without a mechanic even having to touch the tractor. With the conventional tractor, if there's an issue, lots of times it's a moving part and, and this tractor just doesn't have as many moving parts. First year has been fantastic. I can't imagine what five years from now is going to look like. We're going to leverage what we learned here, other ranches with other managers, and try to keep building on this relationship we have with Monarch.